Yesterday, I downloaded the new firmware update for the GH5, and it's version 2.3, and as always, autofocus is a big issue, and we are always hoping that Panasonic will improve this area of the camera, and I think this time they actually did make a big step forward with it. Uh, so I shot some clips and some little tests, and I wanted to share them with you here, so let's take a look and see how it did. All right, in this case, I found that using the uh, face uh, and eye detect tends to work a little bit better than the one area in terms of just even knowing what to focus on. Uh, however, uh, I've noticed that if I wear a hat, it, whether or not it's facing forward or any, uh, there's a, a bill over my eyes casting a shadow or not, it can't really tell for sure if that's a face. I don't think it's... Uh, uh, however, it recognizes the, uh, the shape of a face that doesn't account for, for that very well. So in this case, I'm just walking back and forth and with, uh, uh, with no hat and no glasses or anything like that. And the box tends to follow me pretty well. I'm not really sure if it's all that perfectly uh, good at just staying with me. Um, but I'm just going to go forward and backwards. And then I'm going to come back here and turn away, come back, okay, uh, move to the side, and come back. Now again, it seems to be finding my face on the screen pretty quickly, but, uh, but really grabbing the focus, I don't know if it's all that quick or not, but we'll take a look at it and see. You're already seeing it now. I'll take a look at it and see what I think of how uh, well it's doing this and if I can live with it. Now one thing I have noticed though is that when I'm sitting the camera uh, and setting uh, myself in a sort of a static position uh, and just letting it follow me just with those slight movements towards the camera and back, it tends to jitter a bit on the background. You can see it jittering the focus, especially on the background where it's blurrier. Uh, and that that really is distracting so I don't really know if I would use it a lot for that yet um, maybe there's something that can be done with the uh, setting the sensitivity a little lower or something like that but even with leaving all those settings just in the factory default positions um, it tends to uh, to hunt a little too much still so we'll see how it does all right in this case it's set for one area and all of the uh, other settings are the same and it's far enough away that I can't really see the screen and tell if it's in focus or if it's uh, even remotely close. So uh, we'll take a look at this. Um, now I found uh, earlier that I felt like the uh, under these circumstances maybe the face detection version was better than one area. Um, but anyway, we'll see. I'm going to back around and go to the side. Now I'm getting out of the little one area box and then I'll come back into that area, go to the side and come back to... Now lights are kind of close to me here so it's a, a little bit extreme but um, uh, hopefully there's enough contrast for it to figure out where you know what is in focus here in this little box. All right, now in this case, I'm using one area again, but now I'm using the uh, wear my hat. Uh, again, that doesn't really work very well for the face detect version uh, or mode of the autofocus. So I'm going to try it now with uh, the one area. Now, which in theory, maybe it would add enough contrast to even make it work a little better um, than without it. But uh, especially considering that I have no hair to offer contrast with. Um, but we'll see how it does uh, with me coming in and out of the frame. Does it, uh, does it grab focus and uh, find me again on the screen? So um, again, we'll see how this works out. All right, so now I'm using the Panasonic Leica uh, 25mm f1.4, and I do have the aperture at f1.4. Um, so I'm going to see how this does with uh, a lot shallower depth of field. And I'm also, uh, again, I'm on eye and face detection and I've removed my hat um, so I can see if it'll uh, recognize what's a face and how to get it in focus. And the box seems to be on me right now as best I can see it. Um, but how well is it going to track me? That's the question. And how well will it actually grab focus while it's got me in the frame? So I'm going to turn away 
and turn back and see if it'll recognize me again. And now I'm going to walk forward. And to the side and back into the frame. Okay. And now I want to do the same thing, but I'm going to put my hat back on and just see if the hat will uh, confuse the face and eye detection. All right, right now it's sort of iffy. I can see the box coming and going. Um, I'm going to give it a chance, though. I'm not going to fight it too much. Again, um, I think this stuff just isn't quite good enough that you can just willy-nilly do whatever you want and not worry about whether uh, it's seeing things correctly or not. You really have to think about are you giving it a chance to recognize uh, what's in the frame. And I know that's not really what we want. <laughs> uh, we'd like to just, just be able to set everything automatic and let it just find us. Um, so anyway, um, now I'm going to switch over to one area and see how it does with the one area autofocus uh, mode. Okay, now I'm using one area autofocus mode and uh, I am again just going to do the same similar little uh, uh, backwards and forwards walking and we'll see can it keep me in focus. I'm going to try to stay in the area of the little box and I'm going to move to the side, come back. Move back and I'm far enough away now that I can't even tell. I can't see the camera, so I don't know. I mean, I can't see the frame. Uh, the, I can't see the screen well enough to know whether it's actually grabbing focus or not. And if I'm, hopefully, I'm in the box. I think I am. Okay, so we'll take a look at these uh, little tests and see how they do, and we'll go from there. All right, now I'm going to walk around a little bit, so holding the camera in this sort of typical vlog uh, fashion, and um, going through some really uh, pretty extreme variations of lighting, and we'll see how it does. Again, I'm set to one area, and I'm going to go through a real dark area right here in the house. Okay, coming into uh, a lot more light, um, and we'll see. Okay, seems to be grabbing focus. Um, I don't know how much it's lost it, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to go back into some different light again, and again, seems to be holding up pretty well. So I'm going to take a similar circuit through the living space here with, uh, with the uh, autofocus set to eye and face detection. And now I'm just set uh, everything the same except I'm using uh, eye detect or eye and face detection mode on the autofocus. And uh, I took the hat off because, again, I just want to give it every opportunity to recognize my face in the frame. And it seems to have trouble with the hat. So, all right, walking through uh, some dramatically changing light again. And we're going to arrive in a similar area to earlier. And the whole way it seemed to uh, recognize where my eye was, the only time it seems to lose it is when I get in a really bright area. And I guess the contrast just gets too low for it to recognize the, the shape of the face. So anyway, um, doing pretty well with just knowing where my face is, but whether it's actually tracking it in the... Uh, uh, very well in the autofocus is just a whole other a whole other ball of wax so we'll check it out okay this is one area autofocus with uh, the little box being right in the middle of the frame uh, there's a bug crawling across the ND filter we'll see if he gets in the shot um, so uh, so anyway it's uh, it's on me and it should stay locked on pretty well since uh, I'm staying at pretty much the same distance the whole time and keeping my face in the box uh, and now I will turn and face out into the wilderness here and then I'll come back and see how it does 
with bringing me back and focus. All right, I'm back to face and eye detect for the autofocus, and I wanted to see um, if it can kind of hang with the hat, uh, providing that little bit of a shadow. Um, because uh, again, as a person who has not much hair, um, it would be very nice to be able to uh, wear a hat sometimes to keep the reflection um, or blown out highlights off the top of my head. So uh, now another thing I wanted to mention though is that I'm using a Tiffin ND filter and I don't know if that ND filter will actually affect the performance of the autofocus. Hopefully not. Hopefully not uh, to any real discernible degree. Uh, but anyway, um, we'll see how it's doing. I'm walking on that same little path again and we'll see if it can keep me in focus. Uh, certainly doesn't seem to always be able to tell where my eye is with the hat, uh, but uh, but so far uh, it's kind of refound me at times, and we'll see we'll see if it's losing focus in between. Okay, after looking at these clips, uh, I feel like there is a significant improvement over the uh, previous version of the firmware. Um, again, uh, it's not perfect. Um, it may not be on the level of, say, Sony or Canon's uh, autofocus systems, but I think Panasonic is definitely edging closer and closer, and uh, they are definitely uh, getting into the ballpark where I would actually use this some now. Uh, I don't typically use the autofocus because I just don't trust it, but I think now it's going to be to a point where um, I, it's worth spending a little time with it and finding out uh, under what circumstances I might actually get some use out of it and, uh, and it might actually benefit me and open up a little bit more creativity in some of how I'm using the camera. Um, now, just a, a quick uh, recap. Um, I was using uh, Panasonic lenses in both cases of uh, the samples. Uh, one was the 25mm uh, f1.4 and the other is uh, what I'm using right now which is the 12-35 to uh, f2.8. Now this whole video has been shot at 24 frames per second and I've got the, uh, the shutter angle at 180 degrees. Um, now that is where they said they were making improvements on this so uh, hopefully uh, hopefully this is going to really uh, be a step in the right direction it seems like it just from my first impressions here. Now if you've got some ideas about uh, uh, how I could do this um, s the settings better and things that might help the autofocus perform better I'd definitely like to hear it leave it in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, click like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Damn sure in focus enough to see all this cat hair. Yes, I'm talking about you.